Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Kodiak 12-inch hub and rotor disc brake assembly set. Now this is going to allow you to upgrade your trailer from drum brakes to disc brakes so that you can take advantage of all the added benefits of having disc brakes on your trailer. Uh, we are going to have the two brake assemblies here, so that's going to allow you to replace the brakes on a single axle with a capacity range from 5,200 pounds to 6,000 pounds, and the number 42 spindles on that axle. As you can see, uh, these are going to be a 12 inch diameter on our rotor, and then we're gonna have the six on five and a half inch uh, bolt pattern. So these are going to work with your wheels that are 15 inches and larger. So upgrading your trailer from drum brakes to disc brakes is gonna have several different benefits. It's going to help shorten your st stopping distance. It's also going to help provide smoother, more controlled braking than you're used to experiencing with your drum brakes. So it's gonna help keep your trailer from pushing and pulling as you're going down the road. Now these do have the ceramic brake pads that are going to help increase your stopping power. And it's kind of hard to see, but there is a large two and a quarter inch diameter stainless steel piston that's gonna provide fast, responsive braking for you. In addition to the added uh, performance, these are also going to uh, require less maintenance and therefore save you time and money over uh, your drum brake. So there's uh, not uh, as many little components that could fail and have to be replaced over time. Those brake pads will wear down over time and have to be replaced, um, but that's a pretty simple process and it's not gonna happen very frequently. So uh, this is gonna be a great money saving uh, option for you as well. Because we have the one piece hub and rotor assembly, and that's gonna help reduce the chance of uneven rotor wear. We do also have the vented design that's gonna help dissipate your heat faster to prevent premature brake pad wear. And these are a high quality automotive grade construction, so they are gonna be very long lasting. We also have the uh, Dacromat finish on our hub and rotors and on the brackets on the back side here. So those are all gonna be coated uh, to help offer uh, rust and corrosion resistance. Uh, they have a uh, 300 to 400 hour salt spray rating, so they're gonna hold up really well. And then on our calipers, we have a Codaguard coating uh, that's going to offer uh, 500 to 600 salt hour spray rating. So these are gonna be a great option for your boat trailers and trailers that are used in coastal areas or on heavily treated roads. We're gonna have a lot of contact with salt uh, th these are going to hold up really well for you. So one caveat uh, with disc brakes, they are going to require a higher line pressure than your standard drum brakes. And so you're going to need a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines that are rated for 1500 PSI or above in order to operate uh, your disc brakes here. So if you don't already have those, we do sell them separately here at eTrailer.com. Uh, so this kit isn't going to include everything that you need. Uh, if you don't already have the brake lines and hydraulic uh, brake actuator rated uh, for that 1500 PSI on pressure, uh, but these are going to include the two Dacromat plated cast iron hub and rotor assemblies with the six pre-installed half inch wheel bolts, as well as the 12 zinc plated steel lug nuts that you're gonna need to uh, hold your wheels in place there. You're also going to get the two Codeguard uh, coated cast iron calipers and two Dacromat plated ductile iron caliper mounting uh, brackets. And so these do have the five bolt brake flange configuration. So it's gonna be very easy to get these mounted on your axle. One thing I do wanna note, I have these mounted on the top just for display purposes, uh, for balance and whatnot. When you're installing these, they're actually gonna be on the side and that's gonna be a added benefit for you because that's going to put the weight on the mounting bracket instead of on the bolts. And so the, those bolts are gonna have less strain and will hold up longer for you. You're also gonna get four of these stainless steel caliper mounting bolts uh, to get everything put together there. Make sure that those are held in place properly. In addition to the main assembly there, we're also going to get our inner and 
outer bearings. Uh, those are going to obviously make sure that our system can uh, rotate on our axle properly. Uh, so you can see the part numbers on the screen there. And then we're also going to have our inner and outer races that the bearings are going to uh, fit into. And those are pre-installed, uh, but you can see those part numbers on the screen there as well. And then we're also going to have our uh, inner grease seal. It's going to be on the inside portion there to hold the grease in. Uh, th that grease seal is going to have a 2.25 inch inner diameter and a 3.376 outer diameter. And then we'll also have our grease cap. This is a easy lube grease cap so we can pop out that uh, rubber plug there, have easy access to our spindles so we can pump in some grease and uh, make sure everything's well lubricated in between our normal uh, changes. And that outer diameter is 2.45 inches. So overall, a very nice system here to uh, upgrade your trailer from those drum brakes to disc brakes. Uh, that Dacro mat finish is going to hold up really well against the salt. If you're looking at your good, better, best, I would say your Dacro mat finish is probably uh, your better category. Stainless steel would be your best. It's going to hold up the longest for you, uh, but these are going to be a little bit more cost effective and they're still going to do a really good job for you as well. So that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.